What is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be going to be reacting to DBG's top point guards in NBA 2K21, my team. Now, with the whole next gen, current gen situation, I'm going to be talking about each and every one of these cards and kind of my thoughts on them compared to where DBG has them. Some of the cards are the same, some of them are might be a tier up, a tier lower depending on current gen next gen but before we go any further if you're already to my channel and have not yet please smash the subscribe button as we're on the road to 40,000 subscribers also if you don't subscribe to dbg make sure to go do that because he does upload a ton of my team content and is one of my guys in the my team community so we'll see what where dbg okay so has, steph has curry is the first guys. player and in terms of current point guards it I doesn't mean, matter he's he's just he's outdated if you're talking point. next gen he's b not a He's B if you're talking next gen. He's D if you're talking current gen. Because especially the cold zones and current gen. So. I just. Because every, basically everyone's going on next gen. Except for like Stockton, Draymond, Zion. I don't even mind Stockton on next gen to be honest with you. That's my uh, opinion. I'll put him D at this stage. We'll see where the other point yeah, guards are. Yeah, looking at these guys, all the recent guys, I think you want to put him in D. Oh, yeah, he has a low list We'll be of free. He's right with Steph. I mean at this stage. He's right with Steph. D as well. Yeah, he's right with Steph. You can't separate as well, those no two. Plan. You know we got Earl. Earl the Earl Pearl, Monroe, man. I like him. I like him. I, I mean, I hated Monroe when he first came out. Like he can run. That's about it. But oh, like he can run, and he got pro world pro two, I think. Or pro, I think. Yeah, give me world be free over Earl any day. I don't know about all but, this. Earl belongs with them. That's all I can say. Can I might move world be free up. No, one? just keep him all at D. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Earl down at D. I'm gonna move world be free up to C. I disagree. I hate Earl. And I, I like hate Earl. Earl. I actually like Roby Free a lot more. I like like Earl. objectively, That's he's probably as good, if not better, than Steph. I think they're pretty good though. D, though. And then we have JoJo. JoJo's like he's. I mean, good. JoJo's eight here. He is. Especially badged up JoJo. He's is good because he's so fast. And I just realized I forgot a player here. Who? I forgot a very good player. In fact, I forgot Stop. Mo Williams, who is so similar to JoJo. He Mo is. Williams, Amethyst would be in A tier. I have just completely. I don't know about all that. Maybe he wasn't he's good. updated on two KMT Central or something, but Mo he would be up there solid. with JoJo. Mo Williams is really, really good. Well, they're basically the same card. They're almost identical speed wise. Speed they're almost is... identical shooting wise. It's just JoJo has better defense all around. Like he's just it's a, a better pre it's defender. preference whether you prefer base four or Paul George. JoJo's because a they both way better basically defender, the same though. body. They're almost identical. So um. Yeah, both of them belong in the same I tier. I think JoJo, uh, I'd have tier? JoJo at A. Let me Stefan Marbury. That's me. I mean, he's I mean, fast. I mean, he, what does he give you? a little bit better than Earl. He's so basically the C, same card as Earl Moreau. Like, I don't think at this stage in the game, Marbury is the greatest identical. card in the world. Let me get Steph. Pink Diamond Steph? Let me put Steph up here in S tier. There's no... Let me... Yeah, just put him up there. There's no ifs or buts. It doesn't about. matter. Steph like, Curry is an S tier He's the best point guard in the game. Not only an S tier point guard, the best in the game. He is. Not even close. Again, most more often than not, he is my favorite. Um, more often than not, he's my favorite point guard or favorite card in the game. But you can definitely argue for Blake. I don't know. Not gonna say Blake is better. I'm just not that good. With you can Steph. definitely That's argue that Blake is better. So I'm gonna put Steph though in. Well, there's no question about Steph's S tier. Yeah, no question. Kuzi B tier. I mean, Kuzi when he even a, even Kuzi a bad shot Kuzi now is B tier. Or gold range is like he's fine. He's not great. I would not want to use him, but he's but like fine. without badges, he's fine. He's got an okay but not great release. He's not gonna dunk it. So that's why he's actually ridiculous. I, his stats are ridiculous. actually ridiculous. I personally stats like stats Kuzi's ones. release, honestly. I just there's just something about him. Just something about him, and he's terrible next gen. So he's going B tier. I've never used him next gen. Or Rose. Against him, I don't think. I mean. He's like a better Marb. A Bro, it's like, better... it's like who he has at C and D right now. How are you he's separating He's better dunking. Them? No, he's a better dunking Marbury, but a worse three-point. Like, how are you separating That's basically all of these what he, he still has know. a half quick first step and a good dunk. Uh, he can still be glitched by people and dunk the ball the basket. He still is. He's still ridiculous. He's still ridiculously good on offense if you know how to use him. But he plays no defense. He's like much worse John Wall. Yeah. I, he's like John Wall. Earlier in the year, though, though, Derek Rose was a so, big um, problem. Because yeah, he's he by far the best rim running point guard. Then we got the Mo game. Cheeks. I mean, if you were asking me who I would rather use in a game, Mo Cheeks or Derek Rose, I couldn't tell you which which I'd like, like to use more. Neither. Mo Cheeks are like, cold. If you're using either of those cards at this point, I don't know what to Class say. Class 96 man. lateral quickness. 
a moderately good release so on next gen greens ever you can green everything as well as 96 off all steel fencing i don't know what to say i don't know man like he's better than steph and he's better than Earl. i'm gonna say it right now he's better than both of them i, I love earl really why good, as well as go for steph why is animation. why is the hate towards earl monroe so out there Earl's i'm saying this fine. right now Earl is my favorite point guard is better than gary payton gary payton's just i hate bad, gary though. payton i don't necessarily regret gary payton's just bad locking in for him and the reason why I don't regret locking in for him is that Draymond, right? he was my starting point guard, and I actually used him very, very effectively while getting Paul Pierce. And Paul Pierce has played like 250 games for me. Okay, so yeah, I guess it's fair. Enough. In hindsight, would I have rather had the 500k for Ben Wallace a few weeks later? Yes, but <laughs> it's ridiculous look, how much was big not, ben I don't was regret locking in for Gary Payton. I do, ridiculous. however, massively regret locking in for uh, Dennis Rodman. But oh, good night, Dennis. You live and you learn, I guess. Gary Payton, though, he's that card. That card was terrible. If you locked in for that card, I just don't know what then to tell you. Then we got Dennis Johnson. I don't. I mean, he's better defensively than a... Dennis Johnson's uh, most good huge, on defense. The problem is he can't shoot at all. He's like, the gap between defense. a 73-pointer and a 63-pointer is massive. It is. And you've been hit with a 73-pointer. Especially on next especially gen. Especially next gen. Mm -hmm. If you were using the stick on current gen, pre, pre all the stick patches, you could hit every, You could hit a lot with a 73-point shooter. And if you are, yeah, I mean, the stick, honestly, it made it capable. Like, you could green some shots with a guy, like, even Dude, Dennis stick Johnson. As well. I'm you telling you, you can hit with low rated gen. players on current gen still with the stick. I'm telling you right now, I've been using Ralph Sampson. Yeah, a card like him. He's got a 73 stick, ball. He can hit quite consistently. Exactly. So, yeah, no one's going to be using stick, but trust me, these guys actually can't hit. Yeah, and well, I don't, I would, cheeks can hit I would stick. never use this stick. Jason again. Kidd. Ever. I mean, they're all really similar. I just think Mo Cheeks the best of them all. Jason Kidd's trash. And a kid, Peyton Johnson. Jason Kidd Cheeks, is bad. They all play very similar. Like Stats bad. wise, you would think that Jason Kidd would be. Um, Jason Kidd is so bad, man. Like, the best of them all. But he's just. Oh, it's just something bad. He's really he's bad. He's very, bad. very bad. And we got Isaiah Thomas. C tier. Um, I think Isaiah he's. Isaiah Thomas is probably whoa, 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 like whoa, 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 low B tier. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I would put him in C tier. I, don't, I mean, he he's... plays defense quite well. He's like a much better shooter. He probably is emojis. better than everybody at C tier. That's basically but... what you are getting out of Isaiah Thomas. He's a card that I actually don't mind. I think I used him on my team for, for a That's little bit thing. when he first came out. But I, I, I was actually 50-50 and I'm running him in the very first 250 qualifiers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't in the end. I went with Sleepy instead, but... Good. Sleepy I'm sorry, I went with Kyle Larry instead, but he's good. Ew. Speaking of Kyle Larry, Kyle Larry probably in B tier as well. No. I guess Steve Nash. I mean, but and like, and like, here's the thing. He says Kyle Lowry and B tier, but I ran Earl Monroe over Kyle Lowry. So that's hard for me. Like, it's hard for me, man. I don't I think don't Kyle Lowry is that good. Like, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see what everybody Not bad of Steve Nash. Um, Sorry, not badge of Steve Nash, probably C tier. Badge of Steve Nash should be tier. Badge up, I mean, you can get basically every important badge he in the game. He can, so. but I just hate Steve not Nash. Put him like... I and then Jerry West, who I don't think I have on here, wherever, like literally the same as Bob Cousy. Doc Rivers. He's not He's bad. like low B tier. He's not bad. Pro 3 behind the bank, decent overall stats. But the front. hard part is you're putting these guys that are basically unusable at B tier. It's fine. And so He's good. I, we'll see if we get Doc any Rivers cards is good. later He's on, and I just, it might end up being difficult. He's like, we'll see. He's not spectacular, but I think we'll he does belong in B tier. Cause like a lot of these guys like Mo Cheeks would be D tier, and then you can move Bob Cousy. Maybe maybe Bob Cousy would be the only one at B tier for me. Yeah, we got and Sleepy. The rest would be down. When we're talking badges up, Sleepy, the guy is A tier, and it's there is no doubt about that. I mean, I'm not gonna argue that Sleepy's range, better than everybody in B. Yes, big first step. But I don't think he's JoJo he's a 70 White. dunk of hell, which is basically unblockable. You go into a dunk animation on current gen, you are dunking every single time. I don't think time. he's JoJo White. Um, he's also gosh. He's just got some really, really nice animations. The base 22 is a release that I really like. Yeah, his upper looks a little bit iffy. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, his upper is weird time. Maybe it's because I've been using a bunch of base 22 players all That's year. That's my opinion. But I really like Sleepy, so Sleepy is going into A tier. That's fine. Me. I'm not going to argue that. And we got Stockton. Stockton S tier. S -tier. He current is gen, the next gen, it second doesn't matter. third best point guard in the game on current matter. gen. Stockton sucks on next gen. I like him on I'm next sorry. Gen. I, so, like, I, I like hate him. playing current gen, so I just don't play current gen. Like, I might, like, I think it's, like, second I like January or something when really 250 do. is. So, I'm probably going to bang out, practice a little bit, two or three days before 250. And then maybe scrape into the top 30 again, something like that. Um, I'll be happy with it, but... What happened to the rewards you used to get for getting, like, top 10? Like, they used to give you good... John Stockton, good rewards, man. But I'm... they would at least give you, like, Byron Beck. Now we don't get nothing. 
Next gen, I don't. There's something I like about Stockton him. People, next everyone gen. will say this. He is awful. I like he him. I, I he's still awful. my backup point guard in next gen. But in current gen, him. he's ridiculous. He dunks on everybody. He's better on current he shoots gen from deep. Got a super quick glitch. release. In my opinion, it's really easy to green. Really, really got the fan His release is easy. Still to belongs in S tier. Do you guys realize when we got John Stockton to like how long ago? Like his longevity has been absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. And we got Kyrie because the amount of badges he has. I mean, Kyrie's A. His handle's boy, pretty nice. Boy, all I'm saying is I would play with Bob Cousy over Kyrie Irving. I would. He feels I good really dribbling would. the ball. His release hate comes on Kyrie quick. Irving. He's actually really good this I year. I hate Kyrie Irving. Because a lot of people's releases are, on, are slower than they were last year because of no quick draw. I hate Where him. Where Kyrie's releasing quick. And that's the problem with having some of these mediocre guys at B tier. It's like a guy like Kyrie cannot compare to Jojo White at all. He feels he like can. hot quick draw. Um, again, a player that I think I is a really, really good... Um, offensive point guard doesn't play any defense. Even He's on offense, like then we got Darren Williams. Now we got a lot of good point guards like in a row, and that's what like, I'm, I'm pretty saying, sure it was like, like a week at the end from like the end of September. To and maybe maybe I'm low on Jojo White because I think Jojo White badged out is better than Darren Williams. I, I truly October, do. I, where I will, we got I will say Stockton, that forever. and then everyone started getting Curry. And then Darren Williams. Yeah, we got Stockton, like Curry, Darren. Like it was, I'm pretty sure like in a Seven day span, we got we got Stockton, such good point then guard. people start getting Curry, then Kyrie, then Darren Williams. Like, they were all Kyrie's compared to what good, we had before that week. Stock and Darren are nice. good point guard. Before that and I see, used to think Darren Williams was better than Stockton. I was wrong. I was he's wrong. probably the best point guy in the game. I mean, Derek wrong. Fisher, I mean, he's better than Kyrie, he's low A. I just, he's definitely low. I a. just I have a hard time seeing Derek, Fisher, Derek Fisher and Kyrie might have been. He was the week a, after man. Kyrie as well. We got a lot of point I guards just, over that week. Over that those guys like, do not compare to JoJo. They just don't. It's crazy. But Fisher, he's okay. Again, Fisher is a really good shooter. He's okay. Got Curry slide. Really good on defense. Good release. I like him. And we have got. Um, I need to actually put someone in worthless, don't I? I've been looking at these guys right here. Let me chuck. I mean, Gary Payton's not worthless in either step. Nobody on your list Are is any worthless. of these guys worthless. But they all serve a purpose. Uh yeah. I mean, I don't know. Where Lamelo, it's... maybe. If you're talking current gen, he sucks. Like he, uh, if you're talking current gen, Lamelo. Lamelo's bad, but sucks. doesn't he get like eight Hall of Fame badges does. or something crazy? So yeah, left with Lamelo and worthless. I never used him, so I don't know. But, but then we got Chauncey Billups. Chauncey He's good. Billups. He's I don't know if I want to put him low A. No, put B. him in A tier. He is so much better. Like, than he doesn't Kyrie play all. He's better, way better defender than anyone here on A. He's, he's A tier. Oh, I hate him. I he's hate him A -tier. so much. A badge out. A badge out. Chauncey Billups is my second favorite player A tier. I hate him so Behind much. Jojo White. Let me throw him on the end. Yeah, There's nothing the wrong end. with Chauncey. Good. Then we got Ray for Alston. No, I no, mean Ray no. is going S. Rafer is going into S tier lads. No, he... If you guys don't agree with me, you probably have not used Rafer, especially on next gen. Okay, I will say this. I'll say this. In your defense, I have not used Rafer on next gen. But what I will say is when I use Rafer on current gen, to say he compares to a badged out Jojo White is hard to say. Like, it's We're talking hard, next man. gen, Rafer is... That release is just the gre most green release in the game. Team X so release good. on next gen so, is so nice. Good. Like the Trey Curry is or nice. Trey Young wherever Curry is. Fair enough. Trey Young can cook on offense. On a decent release. That's he can cook that's on it. offense. If we ever that's get like a Trey Young with clamps, like he all might be tough eventually. Not much else, but shit, that's all you need in this but, game. Though, I mean, he's it? Trey Young and he's a release and Curry super slide. tiny. So. John Wall get into S tier. Yep. No, I'm not getting one of the best point guys in this game. No debate. You can argue he's number two. You can argue he's number three, four, five. But, like, we got Steph Curry, and I think we got these four as the next four in terms of the I don't like Rafer up there. I don't. But, yeah, these down wall definitely belongs as tier. The best dunk here. Best but, again, it is current gen and next gen, so that makes a difference. Gilbert. Gilbert next. Gilbert's A tier. If you uh, don't put him in A tier, I don't know what else to say. I mean, he should be S tier. I don't like him, though. He's not S tier. He's A tier as far as point guards go. His release is so bad. Yeah, it is. It's I'm sorry, terrible. I hate it so much. But I he's probably my second favorite player at A tier behind JoJo. If and you guys, if it. you guys can't tell, I love JoJo. I don't know what they did to him. He like they ruined it. He like just twists his body, it. doesn't even jump his release. Oscar Robertson. Terrible. D. 
like he's objectively C tier. I mean, like if, I can't say you're Oscar. Putting Ob Oscar in B tier, that's where I got problems. It's like he's worse than Doc Rivers. He's just not worse than Doc Rivers. I don't like him for his price. I think he's a very, very overpriced player. I hate but Oscar. I cannot man. argue that he is worse than Doc Rivers. Like he just simply is not. As much as I would like to say that he's worse and put him down in one of these tiers, he's just not. He's better. It's so just tough because the B tier, B -tier is not even three usable the back. He's still able to attack the basket well. Like, they're not even usable. In the post. He's still got a lot of things going for him. Oscar's not then even usable. we got usable. Tony Parker. I mean, Tony Parker is not that bad. I think Tony's he's better than Oscar. He's got a 96 speed. He's fast. He can he's got go a good to the basket. Like, I mean, he shoots the mid range Tony's well. not he that finishes, bad. He's not really not. The basket, though. He shoots the three ball well. He's not he's that like, bad. A much better, like an Earl or something. Do I bring Earl up a tier? Yes, you bring Earl up. That's not even a question. I Earl mean, there's Earl, almost nothing up. separating these two tiers. That's what they, that's what I've been saying since the start of the video. C and D should be together. B should be down, and then you can maybe lose, leave Kuzi up there, move Kyrie down. Like the the C and D, I hate it. Bro. There's almost nothing. You could interchange any of these players. That's I what I'm saying. Just move them all down outside of Earl. Really Earl would be C for me, but everybody else would probably be Then D. we have got Ricky Honestly. Rubio. Ricky's Rubio good. Again, A -tier. When he's badged out, he is good. Badged up Rubio with that release, man. He's good. Way better than Kyrie. Not even close. Man, if you guys know, if you guys know, you know. Yeah, I know. It's if nice. If you know, you know, lads. And I've never used um, the badged out Ricky, but I can I can. Ricky know. Rubio's release is literally like the fastest release in the game. Yes, it is. It's Kenny Smith's release. He's got okay dribble. Where movies. is Kenny Smith at? That's where I want to see. Defender. Where is Kenny he is gonna be? Fully I love Kenny. And I have no problem saying that. Now he might not be better than C tier, but Pat Beverly. I mean, I mean he's basically I mean. Mo Cheeks, but you sacrifice a bit of the speed for a three pointer. So I'm gonna put him C tier. I, mean, I actually I like Pat Bev more than most. He he's a give three me Pat Bev over any of these guys. That's fine. a normal game. Actually, he, if I'm on next gen, give me Curry. If I'm uh, the thing is, Patrick Beverly can defend and he can knock down on, threes. So I'm not going to disagree with where you have him. I'm not. Then we got CP3. I mean, CP3. D tier? Yeah. That, is, that is invalid. Okay, DBG. This whole list is out the window invalid if you're putting CP3 in D tier. It is invalid. Hey, that's harsh. He's not obviously not D tier. He is like... Okay. He said obviously not D tier. I don't know why he put him there then. I gotta, He's as good as I got like a little worked up. He's better than be Derek like Fisher. He's better than Kyrie Irving. He'll be middle of each year. CP3. I can't believe I'm saying this. It's not that bad. He's good. Like, you do not know my hatred for Chris Paul cards in this game. You do not know He's how much I hate game. Chris Paul in 2K19. You don't know how much hate I got for hating Chris Paul in 2K19. He was bad Like, I was public though. enemy number one. It was worse than was when it I Was that the year where the lock-in was like CP3 years? Uh, for like Kobe Bryant Galaxy Oval set? wasn't good last year. It was worse than that. If you guys don't remember, I literally um Is that what we got a Galaxy Opus? The CP3? amount of hate I got, I had a thousand people in a stream giving me abuse because I said that, that Kobe Bryant card sucked. And um it was the exact same in 2K19 he... when I said Chris Paul sucked. Kobe Bryant didn't suck, he just wasn't that great. And Chris Paul was I was public enemy number one for hating Chris Paul Chris in 2K. Paul did but I'm telling you right now, this Chris Paul's good. It's the first time we've seen a good Chris Paul this in a Chris long, Paul long time. Chris Paul is elite, like Paul for a Ruby. Good. He might be the best. Russell Westbrook for... badged up A tier. Oh, no like doubt he's about one it. of the better A tier. No doubt about it. Badged up Westbrook is really good. He can get like he four upper really 40 good. badge. Gold he is badges. one of the most underrated cards in this game. Yes, he yes, is. Yes, he doesn't have hot zones. Yes, he only comes he's with bronze. He's got a good release, though. Yes, he only comes with silver quick first step. But, like, what is it? Like, 30k to buy the card. Ten, it's paid 10k. You'll find a quick first step gold badge for less than 10k right now. Then suddenly you've got a dude that is capable of basically being John Wall. He's good. 96 speed. Decent three-point shot. Good release. His, his release You're basically is getting John Wall for 30k. And people don't realize it. Is I, he quite, I don't know if I like the John Wall. Paid as good just, as John Wall, no, which is why players. he is a tier lower. But Russell Westbrook, fantastic. He's good. He's going He's definitely tier. good. Then we got Steve Francis, A tier as no well. No doubt about it. Steve no Francis got it. a 90 dollars For his price, Steve Francis is the best point guard in the game. For his price. Best value point guard in the game. Absolutely, yeah. not even close. When it's we're talking about best value all. point guards, I'm going to probably... I'm actually going to be making that series again, probably in the middle of the month, where I look like the best and worst value point guards. I did it last year in September. I'm not going to be doing it once every month. It's just going to be... Or in December, it's just going to be like... 
again a new kind of thing for this month Steve because Francis well, is good. it's December you better believe I'm locking in this month um, but it's going to be one of those things or he's the best value point guard in the game got the curry slide got bronze clamps got bronze range extender got a 96 or say he's got a 90 something speed got 90 something dunk yeah, I mean, he's, got only he's so complete for a 10,000. You can argue he's better than Westbrook. 10,000 MT point guard. Would. He is so, so complete. They're both great. They're both great, great cards. Here we got Michael Ray Richardson. Ew. I mean, if Ew. you've got him in his, with his duo. Get him off my screen. I can't even remember who the duo is with in the Nobody, uh, in the nobody is. But like, his dynamic duo. Michael Ray Richardson. Nobody's is him. ridiculous. It makes him an absolute beast. Is it? Am I wrong in saying it's Cowan's? I have no idea who it is. I am no... I have absolutely no idea. I'm looking it up now. I it no is idea. with... Otis Birdsong. His three-pointer goes up to 85. I mean, if you do run Wait, if that, If you can though, put him on the floor with Otis Birdsong... If you do run that... Michael Ray Richardson he's got is a like nice release. B tier or low A tier. Because he's so good on defense. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to lie, but nobody's running that duo. I'm swapping these. I love, I love Mo Cheeks, but... They're all basically it. the same card. Michael Richardson is the best of all. The C and D tier it just doesn't matter. Uh, outside of Earl Moreau, they could all just it's a it's a yeah, throw whoever you want in. higher. Earl Moreau. Then a, we have got a Dame step above though, in my opinion. I mean, I've, Dame is he's B tier. Dame's good. With I'm who sorry, you got Dame at good. B tier, he's B tier. Pro five behind the back, really really nice release, good dunker. No clamps is literally his only problem. Not honestly, on offense, on Dame is good. Everything. Gold range extender. It's just defensively he can't guard a tree. I'm sorry, offensively he's fantastic. Like defensively he's bad, very very bad. It feels like I should make an extra tier on this list because like B that's Kuzi what I'm saying. B tier, tier, tier above. B tier, you can't have Doc Rivers. Yeah, that's tier. what I'm saying. C and Kuzi D and should go together. Better than these guys, but also they don't belong in this tier either. So I don't know. Maybe I just but, don't. But Kuzi and Nash belong with Kyrie Irving and Derek Fisher, in my opinion. But that's me. That's my Charlie opinion. Ward. I'm sorry because he was a free card. Get into worthless. Charlie Ward I don't cannot think he's speed that boost. He's literally Pop Beverly, but can't speed boost. And maybe yes, that, that might bad. make him. He means maybe he has some sort of a use. But my God, maybe is he not he, very good. Maybe he is bad. I say this when I use Charlie Ward for challenges. I didn't. There think is he was no that reason bad. to ever use Charlie Ward when Pop Beverly exists. Literally a worthless. I mean, I'm not gonna that's argue. I'm, I'm not gonna argue. I don't know. Terry Rozier. He's not that bad. I mean, D. He's actually decent stats-wise. Badges-wise, stats. he's not up to that wise much, he is, he is He's decent. actually all right. He's actually all right. Get into D tier. These Evo, these Evo players, I have no idea. I'm not going to comment on him because I have he's, no idea. No clue. Where are you going when you fully have him, When you have him fully evo up at Ruby, he's actually got decent enough offensive game. No well. idea. No real defense, so C tier. If you're using a Ruby, Killian Hayes, you got to monitor what you're doing because why would you ever do that? Cole Anthony's going C. Like, why? Actually, no, no. Cole Anthony, get down. I just, I have a hard time comparing these guys to Earl Moreau. Like, I just do. I don't Steph, know. Steph, get up. Steph, get up in the C tier. Cole Anthony, get up in the D tier. I'm fine with I this. I like Cole Anthony. I am not this. putting Cole Anthony below. I can't offer Cole Anthony below Steph Curry. Because at the end of the day, even if Steph is an amethyst, he can still, he's still he got, got the, that, like, the good dribble sigs and stuff like that. So. If Steph Curry is up there. No, Steph Curry's better than Trey and Steph Curry's better than Cole Anthony. Okay, I'm yeah, fine with that this. That makes sense. Those these two guys are similar. Cole to say like gets a to, 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 gets. To, to say like Killian Hayes and, my, and Ray Michael Ray Richardson that's are really, that's a really big level. Big I just don't so know, man. He's going D tier. Um, Sapphire so Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose. I have no idea. One tier below this Derrick Rose. No idea. He is a little bit Never slower and can't him. dunk quite as well. That's and other than that, the same card. D Brown. D Brown. Again, I haven't done any challenges with him. I yet, don't think so anyone don't has him yet. So. I'm going I, to, I just got him on my account, but I don't know where guess he's where at. to put him. And my guess, based on how C good his stats are, is C tier. Where is he going to put Ja? Ja's should good. be probably B. Rant. B, I probably. Mean, he's got to be B. B, lower B, kind of similar tier to he's, Tony Parker. He's got to be B. That's that's exactly yeah, that's where he's That's kind of the level on. he's at. He's a, actually, no. Ja, Ja's no clumps is the only problem with him, but... You I'm can't put him in A score. tier, though. He can flat out score. Like, at B tier, if you want to say where Ja Morant is, he's better than... If if where I would run these guys in order, Ja Morant's a top three card at B tier. He is. That's my opinion. So anyway, B tier yeah, is so, so it. weak. Anything below A tier is so weak. And the fact that Kyrie Irving's at A tier makes me a little mad because I hate Kyrie Irving. But pretty overall, much. I like his A tier. Maybe move JoJo up. But other than that, it's fine. 
And like I said, C and D tier really could be together. Like I see no difference in C or B tier basically at all. And so that kind of puts a lot of pressure on the B tier with like a Doc Rivers uh, and cards like that. But honestly, it's overall a pretty good tier list. I don't see any guys way too out of position. The only thing I would say is Jojo White needs some respect. Honestly, if it was my list with this right here, I think he's closer to S tier than A tier. He's closer to be comparing to a John Stockton and Darren Williams than a guy like uh, a Derek Fisher or Kyrie Irving, in my opinion. And then other than that, you know, Doc Rivers at B might be a little high, in my opinion. And the disrespect on Earl the Pearl, the fact that he was in D tier to start with makes me a little upset too. But again, huge shout out to DVG, a very, very good tier list. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Comment your thoughts. Who is I too high on? Who is I too low on? Who is DVG way too high on? Who is he too low on? Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hopefully we can get to that 40,000 subscriber mark by the end of this month. That would be absolutely ridiculous, guys. I love y'all and have a blessed day.